Hi, I'm Kent. In my last kiln unloading, I teased a pot that I made using a new technique. The idea was to slip cast two different pots and then put them together. So in this video, I'm going to walk through the process I did. I've only done this once before, so it should be a little bit of an adventure, but hopefully it'll turn out well again. The idea with this one is I'm going to make two of the same pot and then turn them over on top of each other and seal them together. So to start with, I'm going to slip cast several of the same pot. I only have one of these molds, so it's going to take a little while. I'll show you how I do it with one and then do the rest off camera. So I have my mold, have my strainer, and I have my slip. All right, there we go. We'll do this one just like normal. I'll let it sit for a while, pour out the slip, and then demold it, and do that a few more times. All right, this one sat long enough. Let's go ahead and pour the slip back into the container. All right, we'll let that dry for a while, trim up the top, and pull it out. All right, here are four pots all cast out of the same mold. This one's the oldest and this one's the newest. So this one's actually the most firm and this one's still kind of soft. So the idea is I will take two of these and then join them together like this. So they will stand up. So I need to decide which part is gonna be the top and which is gonna be the bottom. This one's a little bit thicker. This one here is a little bit thicker. So I think I can use it as the bottom. So I haven't done anything to the edges. These are a little bit dry. So I'm going to get my sponge with a little bit of water. Soften this up a little bit. And then I have my slip in this bottle here. I'm just going to apply some on the edge. All right, so there's the slip. I'll just take the top pot, put it on, and try and line it up. Just like that. So I'm going to take some, a little bit of extra slip and just kind of go around the outside edge here. Fill in the seam a little bit more. All right, I'm going to let that set for a little bit. We will do the same for these two. These are a lot wetter. So it should be easier to join together. This one's a little bit easier for it to deform to line up, which is great. It'd be really hard to put pots in these since there's no hole in the top. So now I'm going to trim out the top. So let's use my needle tool here. And this one really did set up for too long. use my wooden tool and join the seam from the inside as well. Okay, 
and there's one. I'll probably go around with a little bit more slip and clean it up a little bit more. This one should be a lot easier. I think it's the right level of dryness. Yeah, much better. Alright, and there are two new pots. I'll probably go back and do another touch up pass on these, but that's the basic idea. So I took two pots of the same mold and then joined them together top to top. And then, so the second one's actually upside down. And so that's a way to get a new shape of pot out of the, the exact same molds. I hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to answer it. Thanks.